Okay, this here's my review on the uh, Glock 22. This is the uh, second weapon that I purchased after I got my concealed carry permit because I was afraid that the 38 wouldn't have enough stopping power. So I went for the uh, Glock 22, did some research on it. And I figured if it's good enough for the police to carry, then it would be good enough for me to carry. Um, out of all the guns I've ever owned and never used and never shot, uh, this is the, uh, the Glock 22 is the only gun that I've had that has ever malfunctioned on me. There's a little tiny pin right above the trigger here. And if that pin should fall out like it did on me, then you would need to use the gun. I guess you could throw it at somebody because uh, if that happens, it's a worthless piece of trash. Um, if, if you can't pull the trigger. Um, take the gun apart. It's pretty simple. Again, the magazine release is over here by the trigger guard. Press that. Make sure that there is no magazine inside of it. Once you do that, pull the slide back there. Visually inspect to make sure that there is not a round inside of it. Slide this, put the slide forward. Point the gun in a safe direction. Discharge it. Make sure that there is nothing to get inside the chamber. The Glock 22, I think, is a little bit harder to take apart than the uh, Taurus line, but all we got to do with the Glock 22 is, if you watch real close, uh, you just need to grab it, pull the slide back just maybe a quarter of an inch. Right here, above the trigger guard, on each side, there's these little, I don't know, indentations, and you got to, they're, they're on each side of the gun, so whenever you pull it back, you got to pull those down. And then slide the gun forward, uh, the top rail forward, and then it will come apart into the uh, upper and lowers. Okay. Um, this here is just like many of the other guns that I've gone through, the, uh, the Taurus line, except for their revolvers. Take it apart. You take the spring out. Uh, this here is another problem with my Glock. The springs broke. I don't know if you can see that or not. But the little plastic retainer for the spring is broke, so that's probably only a five or six dollar part. I have to get that on off the internet. Of course, if you're dependent upon this gun for your life and your spring's broke, then you're kind of out of luck. And then you just pull the uh, pull the chamber out, and that's it. And that's that's basically all the little parts that it breaks down into. Your upper breaks down into three parts, and this here's your lower part. Uh, one thing you have to make sure on the Glock, when I was reading the instruction manual, this is an older one. They have their, the newer ones out. But whenever you're cleaning it, they say to make sure you don't uh, get any gun oil or anything down here where the hole where the, uh, where the firing pin goes. Because they say you could clog, the, clog up the firing pin, which would, well, again, make the gun absolutely worthless to you. All right, well, that's the end of this review. Again, if you have any questions or comments, you could... Uh, Post them here, or you can get a hold of me on the YouTube website, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you.